What is up you guys, the one and only Ash is here, back again on his throne with the mic in the face and a PS Pizzle in hand, ready to entertain you console nerds and my fellow PSP or PS Vita brethren out there. So I want to welcome you guys to a new project of mine in a highly requested game titled Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories for the PlayStation Portable. Here's a fun fact for you guys, well a couple. Um, This game is a uh, prequel to the events in Grand Theft Auto Advance as well as GTA 3. And also, this uh, game was made for the uh, PSP originally and ported to the PS2. So that's pretty cool. Well, enough blabbering, let's get started, and yeah, hope you all enjoy. It's gonna be fun! Rockstar North. By the way, this game is in 1998. Vice City Stories is like in what, 1984 or something like that? Well, in the early 80s. As I said before, if you didn't know, I played this game before on my first channel with a whole bunch of cheats. It was fun. I was just having fun. It wasn't really a, like a serious guide or anything, but of course here I won't be doing any cheats. It's going to be raw. It's going to be real. With the help of my beautiful safe state lady, it should be easy and uh, let, <laughs> it should be easy. But I doubt it's going to be easy. It never is for me. Ah, it's so fun playing a new game for you guys, especially something like this. It's a huge game. I think it has a lot, a lot of more missions than the uh, Vice City Stories. I think like maybe 10 extra ones or something like that. It's long. Which means the longer it is, the harder and stupider missions get. That's right, you get that drum roll ready for Ash. All these new guys. Love the intro, all got that jazzy feel to it, that jazzy vibe. Hey, hey, hey. so there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> so listen, Tony, I know you did a good thing for us, and I know you've been lying low for a long time. So I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? Ask him. You need a job? Lucky he'll take care of you. What more could a family guy ask for? Even my son done got it so good. But, <laughs> Mr. Leone, I thought we got history. I mean, I've done a lot for this family. And now you're expecting me to take orders from this, this, this... Well, it just doesn't seem right. Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me. I appreciate, I Tony. But the idea that you walk in here and start to question my leadership right away is, quite frankly, out of order. Kabish. Kabish, don't it? I understand, boss. So when you need something, give Vincenzo a call down at Atlantic Key. He'll take care of you. 
Won't you luck me? Of course, boss. Anything you say. Tell you what. We can go there now. Yo, bitch, I really don't like you. You know, I played this game. I totally forgot what the hell's going on. I, I don't even know. I got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. It's got you written all over it. We'll head there first. You're all hard. All right. Uh, we have here. Display. Get the brightness up. Put that on. Put it down a little bit. Uh, something else on. Let's go to audio. Get all the way that down. Turn that up a bit. And we're fine. Same controls, of course. As vice to the stores. Of course, I can't drive, so. Lucky or Vic Genie, whatever his name is, may die. Wow, look at this place. This neighborhood. Of course I'm starting already. Let's back up and... Oh, man. <laughs> of course, Ash isn't following those tutorial tips, as you can see. Nope. This shithole is supposed to be my home? Oh, I think it's very you. Now you're disrespecting old Vincenzo. Now, tough guy, get your ass upstairs and go put on some decent clothes. Yeah, who the fuck are you talking to, motherfucker? I don't appreciate that. Okay. While not on a mission, you can save your progress by collecting the save icon. Time will advance by six hours. You can change clothes here at any time. What else? Walk into the clothes icon to get a change of clothes. Oh, of course, it's in my room. You sitting there complaining, yeah, it is a shithole, but shit. You're not paying rent. Vincenzo is. Look at me, I'm balling. Rejoin Vincenzo outside. Vehicles left in a garage next door will be stored when you save the game. Get back into the car. Ugh, sorry. Now take me to my place. Oh, that that's how it is, huh? We gotta look out. Back in 1998. Huh. Okay, that is a big truck. Fuck it. Sorry. Alright, dude. Where do you live? Can I just cross over here? Please, can I just cross over here? Yes, I can. Jesus, Tony, you drive like a bitch. I drive like a mile. Bitches care about not getting hit, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about, son. And we made it. Hey, apartments cost money, Tony. Just you remember who pays the bills around here. Me, Daddy Vincenzo over here. So from now on, you work for me. So I better see you back here real soon. This guy's a little bitch, man. A hundred bucks. Been chinzy, man, little son of a bitch. Well, people, that's a a great start of a new adventure in uh, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories Lands. So it looks like that's pretty much it in the end of that episode. Little mission. So if you enjoyed this video, likes, favorites, and shares really do help me out. And also, make sure you subscribe if you aren't a console nerd. And... While you're out, make sure you check out these videos, the first mission for uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, as well as some other malarkey that I came across by while, sorry, playing this game. And also, one more thing, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Facebook just to get some updates, to talk to me, stuff like that, have some fun, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, links are below. 
Um, thanks for watching as always. Love you guys, and I will see you next time. Peace.